Welcome back. African-born marathon runner Meb Kefleski will be among the athletes representing the United States come August at the Summer Olympics in Rio de Janeiro. He will then be 41 years old. Elizabeth Lee met him at one of his training sessions in San Diego to find how, out how this refugee from Eritrea became an Olympian. More than four times around the globe. That's the distance Meb Kefleski has run and he's still running. He's competed in the Olympics three times, won a silver medal in 2004, and hopes to win another medal as the oldest ever U.S. Olympic marathon runner at this year's Rio Summer Games. He said it all started in middle school. I ran a 520 mile and that got me the A, got the t-shirt and a lot of recognition and uh, that's how it kind of got me out of my uh, shyness, I guess. But gaining such recognition seemed remote when he was growing up in war-torn Eritrea. They didn't have opportunities to go to school. There was a lot I mean, of soldiers everywhere and landmines were scattered around the country. So it was horrific to get, it seemed to be for a, for a kid to grow up to. But unfortunately, that was the car that I was dealt with. But, you know, my parents better made a decision to escape. Yet in the U.S., there were new challenges to overcome. The language is different. <laughs> so you can't, you know, you can't just say what you want to express. Sometimes you can't even say anything just because you don't know the words so you kind of feel like kind of mute. Bob Larson is Kovleski's coach of more than 20 years. He says he offered Kovleski a full scholarship to the University of California Los Angeles in part because he saw a toughness in him. He's an exceptional person and a big part of this I think is growing up in uh, tough circumstances and uh, being in a large family. Um, do, doing some of those things routinely that would upset other people. He can travel anywhere. He can sleep anywhere. Uh, you know, he's just, the whole family is tough. Larson says Kofleski can handle pressure in extreme situations, enabling him to win many marathons. He's won New York, he's won Boston. Nobody's done that in an Olympic medal like he has. Kofleski won the Boston Marathon the year after terrorists bombed the event in 2013. Kofleski says crossing the finish line at the 2014 Boston Marathon meant more to him than winning an Olympic medal. I could feel that was a plateau of my career and I was meant to be on this earth to be a runner to help others influence in a positive way. He became a testament to America's resilience in the wake of the bombings by becoming the first American in 31 years to win the Boston Marathon. At the Summer Olympics in Rio, Kofleski will have a shot at becoming the oldest American to win a medal in any running event. Elizabeth Lee for VOA News, San Diego. Another touching story to end tonight's program. Jimmy Scott was a U.S. jazz singer revered by musicians, but he really never achieved much fame. In 2014, a German filmmaker captured Jimmy's spirit in a movie called I Go Back Home, Jimmy Scott, which premiered recently at the South by Southwest Film Festival in Austin, Texas. Greg Flakus has the amazing story. Usually, you know, people pay their dues their whole life and then they get off, so to speak, and they enjoy some kind of success and financial comfort. Well, he never got it. Jimmy Scott is one artist in this, in this field that was never recognized as much as he should have been. My man. We put some songs together from the American Songbook, about 12, 11 or 12 tracks that I thought of I wanted to do with him and uh, went uh, to LA and then to Vegas to meet Jimmy. I was shocked. First moment when I actually met Jimmy in, in Vegas, we had this first rehearsal and um, I looked at Ralph's face and he was shocked and I was shocked too, you know, seeing him in this kind of bad health condition. Well, Jimmy, and well. uh, I thought at that moment this project is over. When we met Jimmy the first day, it, Joe Pesci was there. Since they were friends and since uh, Joe Pesci had heard that there was somebody coming from Germany to do a record with Jimmy, uh, he was really curious. It's a serious spiritual experience seeing Jimmy in person. A long way from home. 
he was really in a bad condition, but when he starts singing, he was totally in his element. I feel like a motherless child. Even at 84, you hear him sing, it's like he's telling you a story, you know, with every word that comes out of his mouth. A long way. Greg Flakus, VOA News, Austin, Texas. And that's our show. Have a good night.